Alright, so this is basically my first YouTube channel. So I actually don't know what to do, but um, I'm gonna try. In this channel, I'm gonna show whatever I know for my um, cooking skill, the knowledge from uh, other people, other chef, other mentor. Um, I'm gonna try my best. Today, I will use one of my favorite fish, white snapper. And I will use that for sashimi and one more dish. I'm not gonna tell you now, so please keep watching at the end. First, let's take out the scales. Only scales, nothing else. Don't open the stomach or cut out the head. Remember, just only the scale. There are so many ways to do that, or you can use other tools to help you. I will use a knife for this time because I just don't want this kitchen get dirty. Try to do as clean as possible. Probably someone next to you will say good job. Also, be careful your fingers and your hands. You don't want to get hurt just by the fish. Well, but if you are a beginner, never do that before. I will say just take your time because some wild fish can cause infection. I have few friends sent to hospital before, so make sure be careful, okay? After taking out the scales, I will remove the video that how did I take out the head and intestines because I don't want to show you guys. No, just kidding. I'm, I'm not sure if people want to see it or not, but let me know. Maybe I can show that in the future. This time, I only use some half fish. If you think you need more, you can cut the other half. If not, you can use a paper towel and plastic wrap, wrap it and put inside the refrigerator for a few days. Next, I will be using salt to marinate the fish. First, I will put some salt on the skin, push a little bit and do the massage. Be gentle please. On the other side, just put some salt and just leave it for 30 minutes. For the dashi broth, I already have the kombu and water with the medium heat been cooking for 45 minutes. After that, take out the kombu and then turn on the high heat. When the broth is boiling, put katsuobushi in and turn off the heat right away. Like this? But actually don't. Yeah. For the first dashi. So we're making the first. There's also a second one. Yeah. But today we're not gonna show the second, second dash. Next, I'm gonna cut the green onion and daikon. Oh, someone told me to wear eyeglasses. Then when you're cutting the onion and green onion will not make you cry. I'm not sure about that. You guys can go try and let me know later. But I have a sharp knife. I think I'm safe. Now I'm showing you the way that I cut daikon radish. After today, you will know how to cut this if you are genius. Yes. This took me a long time to practice and learn. I still remember when my mentor was telling me to use 40 minutes to cut 8 pieces of daikon before. At the end, I cut my hand. I still remember and I never forget that. But you know, there's a machine or tools can do that now. Very easy, very efficient. To be honest, who want to spend time to cut the daikon like this now? But if you really want to learn and do that, I would say just cut one piece of daikon a day and just practice. Once you get the feeling and know how to do that, just like riding a bicycle, you will always remember. After fish been marinated for 30 minutes, let's wash it. Please use clean towel and dry it. But remember, the skin always on top and the meat always at the bottom because we want the fishy and smell to come out from the meat side. Then, we will remove the extra bone from the meat and specially take out the bones from the middle. You can use a knife or tweezers to do that. Please make sure all the bones out. Nobody want to eat the fish but get hurt by the bones. 
and get stuck in your floats. Especially white snapper bones is really really strong. Oh, about marinate the fish, I use 30 minutes, doesn't mean you have to follow. Some people do 20 minutes or maybe 40 minutes, also depends on the fish too. You don't want to marinate the small and tiny fish for 40 minutes? Well, if you like salty, then go ahead. I take out fish skin this time for this video. If you want to leave it on, I would suggest using hot water to blanch that. This way can make the skin very soft and tasty too. Not sure why people hate fish skin, but for me, it is so good and tasty. And they are actually very healthy too. I saw there's a article saying fish skin actually good for our skin too. I hope that changed your mind to start to eat that now. When I cut in sashimi, I cut the lines on the fish because when people dip inside the sauce, the sauce can stay longer on the fish. But when some fish is too oily, no matter how much soy sauce you put, they still look the same. They don't have any sauce on it. But you know, half of your bottle of the soy sauce already gone. So I will suggest you cut some line on the top that will help a lot. When placing the sashimi, I like to put with different color to make more colorful. Just like a piece of art. Hey, I'm artist too. You know, uh, maybe you can use gold on top. I'm not sure who actually do that. Hmm. Or oh, actually, I did. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Oops, there's one more. I almost forget. Finally, the last one, otasuke, is basically made by pork tea or dashi overcooked rice. Very simple dish, everyone can do that, nothing special. Yeah, right. Of course, we're gonna use one of our ingredients, red snapper. We're gonna use the dashi broth for our sauce, just based on sake, mayonnaise, salt, and soy sauce. There's no recipe for that, because I don't want to share with you guys. Haha. <laughs> no, because... No matter how much people put on their recipe, you don't really have to follow them. I would say just make your own, because my taste doesn't mean your taste. I don't like it too sweet, so I reduce a lot of the mulin amount on this recipe. But if you like sweet, you can put more. By the way, I know people love their soy sauce. Those people mostly will put soy sauce first. Or they put a lot but I would say just be patient put at the end and little by little you don't want the soy sauce overpower everything because you can add more anytime I know you probably not listening it's okay fine you can put more Now, I'm gonna put the fish inside the sauce, piece by piece, one at a time. Don't put them together, because you don't want everything overcooked. But look, this is medium cooked, so nice. Hmm, are you guys still watching? I hope I didn't make you all sleep. Thank you still watching right now. Here, I already have two bowls of rice with the chopped sisal leaf on top. And now I'm placing the fish over them and then I will add the green onion, pour the sauce and green tea in it. For decoration, I will put them at the end because you don't want those nice and dry items get wet by the sauce. So that's why I put the sesame seed and seaweed at the end. If you care about your presentation, please spend more time. Make sure on the side there's no dripping sauce, clean it, make it nice 
saying it to your friends, your customer, the people who are gonna eat. Okay, let's try. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I think the fish do the medium cook is perfect. This is my first video. I don't expect too much. If you like this video, please check the like or subscribe to my channel. And I will keep cooking and share knowledge to everyone. Thank you for watching.